Playboy Carti has finally announced a release date for his album. It's going to come out tomorrow, actually. Um, and it's actually coming out now. We have merch. We have a website. We have a digital download for the album. You can pre-order ahead of time. It's actually coming out. So it's been turned in. Whatever is in the system that's due to come out one minute after 12 is what we're going to get. And I cannot be more excited, man. Um, Dialit was one of my you know, most played albums in the last few years, maybe up there with um, Dirty Sprite 2 from Future. So much replay value, something that easily, because I, I, the, the thing I like about both albums, um, from the Dialit, from Playboy Kai, and of course DS2 from Future, is that they're the perfect length for like a really intense gym session. Like, this is the thing that I always listen to when I want to just get really crunk and really go for it. Um, when I'm in the gym, when I'm on a run, and they um, and then again at home, sonically, they just flow so effortlessly well. And I think most of in Playboy Kai's um, side of things, I think he's sort of aloofness and he's reluctant aloofness and reluctance reluctancy or reluctance or whatever that word is right to put out albums on a consistent basis when he says he's going to put them out um has inevitably helped him because i don't think there's anyone else in hip-hop who sounds like him or who can do what he does on songs he's got such a unique voice and i think when he was around more and he was putting out more singles he was putting out he was on more features you could sometimes get a bit confused as to who the actual goat was who the actual top dog was in the in that kind of realm of whatever rapping style that he does and he definitely is up there with the loot he was reversed the instant probably one and two or a and b depending on your taste um they are miles ahead of anybody else um even the likes of like a trippy red who i'm a big fan of right he's definitely a couple of tiers or a tier below those two those two guys in their ability to craft songs and their ability to make moments and their ability to um you know um just go viral and all this sort of stuff like they are in, in just a category on their own and i think this absence has definitely helped um carty with that um the album cover itself is um inspired by a slash it's an old school punk fanzine so you know where that energy is coming from which makes sense considering his new like sort of like what they call him uh gay vampire vibe that he has going on at the moment um i love it i probably would love it to have a bit more of a gradient when it comes to the actual finish itself but i love the artistic nature the approach that's gone with it again i'm always a big believer in um albums in form album should give you an album cover should give you an idea on the quality of music you're going to be listening to i think if the artist takes the time to really dig deep and have the artwork somehow reflect the music or have the music influence the artwork wherever it happens i do think the level of quality of work is going to be better when it's just like a hapdash like you know a hapdash really put together last minute.com poorly done photoshop job then you know more than likely than not it's just a collection of songs that were finished on the hard drive that all got put and compiled into one album and that was it but i think we're going to get a lot more than that from Kai again in typical Kai form we've got no track list we have no idea who's going to be on it officially maybe Kid Cudi and Future I think he mentioned he shouted him out supposedly Lil Uzi Vert said on a, some random person's Instagram live he's going to be on two tracks but I think he was just trolling so I like that approach from him it's a bit odd that it doesn't ever leak prior because I think you'd get the feeling nowadays that there's always somebody in the supply chain who's going to be tempted to sort of just leak stuff just so they can be the person that did it but i guess it's testament to his level of artistry that he's able to not have that happen because there's not a lot of people that do that right maybe beyonce's and rihanna's the frank oceans even drake doesn't have that luxury his stuff always or maybe not not the music itself but the track listing and who's on it it always leaks out beforehand but somehow paper has been able to sort of keep this stuff close to his chest and again it's thursday now we have no idea who's going to be on the album what the track listing is um maybe we have an idea on the track list based on the merch um which a lot of people have a lot of things to say about which I'm again, I'm not that bothered about to be honest, because you know I buy a lot of heavy metal band merch myself, so I'm very familiar with the questionable graphics, especially if you have a religious background. But you know, maybe you can get some of the track names be uh, the names on the or be the the sort of names that are on the merch pieces. But again, you'll be guessing; you'd have no idea what exactly they are. So I kind of love that about him in that regard. I love that you know we have no idea what the listing is going to be. But we're all kind of an eagerly anticipating his release and we kind of saw a different change in how Playboy Kai has been approaching stuff just based on his Instagram alone. I've never seen him this active, right? I think what from 
we'll say from about here, was it here or there? We basically saw an uptick and this was when 1.2 million plays or likes it says here, right? This is from when, da, 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 let's load up a little bit. It's taking ages. This is from November 23rd. I even liked it. So this was definitely a, a calculated effort to ramp up the kind of noise on the album. Now, I wonder if it falls rushed to release at the end of the year, if this was always a plan. Um, I know a lot of the bigger artists who kind of play well live, who tour well, don't get me wrong, were kind of reluctant to put out albums because they couldn't necessarily tour. So it didn't make no sense. But I think the, the longer the pandemic has gone on, I think the more people have sort of understood the need to put out some level of content for your fans to consume during the year to kind of keep your name relevant in some respects. It shouldn't really matter if you're an actual artist because, you know, what is relevancy? Um, if you're an Apple, do you know what I mean? You're just, you just make good music. Your fans always love you. And then when you drop, you drop in it. So I think Playboy Kai and these people should be in that same sort of mindset or are definitely operating that same sort of way. But it definitely does help if you're able to sort of put yourself into the consciousness of people whilst they're going through this difficult time. And then boom, when things open up, you're right back on it again. So that was definitely interesting to see. He even posted a picture of his kid. Do you know what I mean? And we didn't see this. We didn't know this baby was alive for a while, innit? And it and was calling, what do we call him? Onyx or something. Or Gil Gilbert. That's what Gilbert. Right? <laughs> so that was definitely an indication of just how much of just how um, serious he was about releasing the album finally, because, you know, we've had many false starts, stops and starts here and there, but it's great to see this finally coming out. And of course, you've got a picture here of him and Kid Cudi. So that should be releasing tomorrow, um, December 25th. So definitely looking forward to that one. And of course, it should be, um, it should be, a, again, expectation wise, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not waiting for a classic. I just want to hear what he sort of sounds like sonically two years on. That's basically it. I kind of enjoy hearing the evolution and hearing how it's like Gucci Mane, right? Like it's quite interesting to go back to his mixtapes and then hear what he sounds like now, even if you didn't know, you know, about what he went through and how he sort of changed around, changed his life around with, you know, being healthy and staying off the drugs and working out. But you can definitely tell the evolution as a change. He sort of got better as an artist. He sort of um, enunciates way better. Everything's just improved, and I guess some artists like Playboy Carti, like a Tyler the Creator, I'm not really looking for classic albums. I just want to hear what they've been, what sort of musical inspiration they sort of gathered up in the last two years to kind of show them, show us like, oh, hey, what have you been up to? What sort of things have you listened to? What life experiences have you gone through? Like, like give us an insight. Um, and that would be cool because, you know, he really does interviews, really, really does anything else apart from just posing, you know, bits of Rick Owens or whatever it may be. But I'll be interested to see how that um, evolves as we continue. Um, again, coming up very, very soon. That jacket is so underrated. That's the Montclair and Rick Owens jacket, the silver one. I don't know. I've got a thing with silver jackets too. I think a baby Nape made one back in the day. That was very popular. Oh, no, that, that kind of split the opinion of people, actually. Um, it's funny what how what happens, isn't it? You, you just, you make that coat in another color, and all of a sudden, no one cares. But the moment you make it in silver or gold, everyone's got a thing to say about it. It's very interesting when it comes to coats. Like I'm not too sure why that's the case. I think this was him hanging out with um, Kanye, of course, showing us all his vehicles. But yeah, let's see. Hopefully, we see that very, very soon. Um, I cannot wait. Hopefully, you don't get a last minute um, delay as well. That would be that would be hurtful. Hopefully, it doesn't happen. Hopefully, that does not happen. 